I'm a gay man who was involved in the campaign for same-sex marriage. I suppose I first got involved in this issue, this whole campaign, about three years ago um, when a very prominent drag queen, um, there was a, a big story here, uh, started calling out anybody who was opposed to same-sex marriage as homophobic. And I felt as a gay man, I was going, hmm, not in my name, you're not, you're not using that, that word. And um, so I, I spoke up and I was interviewed on television why I, why I had an issue with that, because I was, a, I was opposed to same-sex marriage. And the reason why I'm opposed to same-sex marriage is that there are two visions of marriage being offered to people in this debate, as far as I'm concerned. Um, there's the vision of marriage that I personally favour, and that is a marriage that supports a mother and a father, one man, one woman, typically raising their children. You know, the old Judeo-Christian definition of, of, of marriage has been tweaked occasionally down through the centuries, but it's constant and it's, you know, understood all over the world. And then in the last, well, it's quite re relatively recently, I mean, Netherlands was the first country to do it back in 2001, so it's a 21st century invention, if you like, is this other version of marriage which says that it's really a benchmark of equality and it's only a, a measurement of adult relationships and family and all the rest of it are coincidental and, you know, let's remove gender from marriage. And that is not my version of what marriage is, but I do support having the same civil rights for same-sex couples, but ideally through civil partnerships in some countries, civil unions in others, um, uh, common law arrangements in other countries. And there are just as many countries that provide same-sex couples with their civil rights through those arrangements as have redefined marriage.